I'm listening. When I so when we auditioned for Hammer, I wanted to be like Ice Cube. Mm. I wanted to be the member that didn't sign, but I'm gonna help y'all with whatever y'all want to. Right. And when Hammer saw and we sang, he told the group, "If he doesn't come with you, I don't want the group." Right. So my boys came to me and he took us out to eat and gave us a hundred bucks a piece back then. You know, he's like, Ooh, $100. Ooh, I gave a bill. That boy gave us a bill. Uh, a little face. Everybody gave a hundred dollars, bought us some tennis shoes. We was like, Ooh. <laughs> it's on. We got us some tennis shoes so, too. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm when I so when we auditioned for Hammer, I wanted to be like Ice Cube. Mm. I wanted to be the member that didn't sign but I'm going to help y'all with whatever y'all want to. Right. And when Hammer saw and we sang, he told the group, if he doesn't come with you, I don't want the group. Right. So my boys came to me and he took us out to eat and gave us a hundred bucks a piece back then. You know, he's like, ooh, a hundred dollars. That boy gave us a bill. That boy gave us a bill. Young. A little face. Everybody gave a hundred dollars, bought us some tennis shoes. We was like, ooh. <laughs> it's on. We got us some tennis shoes so too. we got to go eat and we, I remember, and I remember telling my boys, I will sign only if you guys say we're going to be like brothers and we're going to work together mm -hmm. and be like a family. And of course, they was hungry. Yeah, we gonna do that. Well, I swear, we we one for one. We we together, and I signed. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm talking about favor. My mother told me when I went to the meeting, if the Holy Spirit tells you, do not sign, don't sign. When I got back, I ain't gonna lie. The Holy Spirit told me not to sign. I went against the Holy Spirit, and I signed because I was like, well, God, this is this is, these boys have been doing this for so many years. Who am I? not to give them their dream if I need to sign. And when I got home, when I opened the door, and my mother saw my face, my mother said, you signed. And my mother said, let's pray right now. She called my grandma and said, we're gonna pray. And I'm not gonna lie, um, you know, we prayed. And I think, and I tell my mother this day, I think it's the prayers that really mm -hmm. got me through because I could be in prison right now. Mm -hmm. I've done stuff when I was a kid that, I ain't gonna lie, I, it's just by the grace of God that I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Doing my thing, you know, because I, I don't, I don't have to be here. And I can tell people, you know, people highfalutin black people. Always, oh, you know, I lived my life. I went to college. I did this and that. But we don't understand as black people that it takes one, one car, one tail light to go out, mm -hmm. one something for you to be stopped by a police officer, um, for them to plant something on you to do anything, and you in there for life. I got homies that that really didn't do the crime, but they was in the car. And because they got caught with the people, they're in the car, they're doing life sentences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But they didn't do nothing. They just said, hey, let me get in the car. I'm jumping in the car. And that's what happened with my last uh, homie from DRS. He jumped in the car with somebody, um, and uh, he was on parole, and they was on parole. And he didn't really know. And when they, when they drove out the parking lot, police was 10 cop cars there. Let, so, me, let me ask you this. Um, you didn't ever deal with Ice Cube. I see you mentioned him a while ago. No, we went on tour with Ice Cube. You did? Yeah, I don't think Ice Cube liked my group so much. Well, I think he well, was cool why? with me. Well, you know. It was rowdy, wasn't it? Well, yeah, no, 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 no. There's something going on. No, no. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> you know what? When I met Ice Cube and I kicked it with Ice Cube, I'm going to be honest with you. Very intelligent. Um, I This is a true story. You can get mad at me telling it, but I'm going to tell you. Mm. I was on tour. And so, you know, we was thinking, oh, Ice Cube, you know, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's it. So we went and got some 40s and got some weed. And we was like, okay, we're going to go back to the hotel and kick it. In. We walked in there. And we said, like, Cube, where the hoes at? He's like, shh. My wife is in the other room. <laughs> I was like, you married? You know what I'm saying? I was like, I didn't know he was married. And I said, hey. And he goes, he goes, hey, here's a 40. He goes, uh, nigga, give me some Wadea. And I said, Wadea? I said, what's some Wadea? And he's like, they was laughing. Water, nigga. I'm drinking water. But, you know, because I was thinking, oh, he's going to be back there smoking blunts. He's drinking 40s. He's doing all that. But then I realized that it's a smart brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He knows his audience. He knows what he's doing. He knows he can't be lit all night long and make sure he watching everything and stuff like that. I mean, and some people are going to get mad at me saying this, but think about this. The number one person that owns the number one family entertainment company, family entertainment, is owned by Ice Cube. Mm. Wow. Think about that. Think about that. He Say that again. The number one family, family entertainment, entertainment company as far as the movies, all that stuff, family oriented. What's the name of that company? Um, I can't think of his name, but you know, all the movies that he do, all those, those are all for you know. Um, are we there yet? All that right. stuff. Yeah. Those are all family oriented right. things from the number one gangster in America. Think about it. Think about that. Think about that. 
The brother yeah. came up. He the did brother, a good job. The brother man. Did, he did a good. He, we interviewed the his brother. Came up. his uh, his his uh, guitarist. guitarist, the guy to make do a lot of his production of Clint bass Pay, player Clint Payback Sands, mm-hmm. man. Good guy. You know him. You ever heard, I heard of, him? of him? Yeah, Clint. Yeah. He's out of uh, out of L.A. Mm-hmm. But but, but I'm just do. saying. But I'm just saying. But but and so that's what I'm saying. So we have a lot of perceptions sometimes, and they're wrong. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.